come, let's come on to these so-called man-made famines, which five million people where you got those figures from died in. Well, it may interest you to know that there were major famines in India from the 15th century onwards that have been documented. Many millions died in them. In fact, every 40 years, southern India had major famines. This was before the British were anyway in India. Now, from the 18... 80s onwards, the British introduced something called the Famine Codes. The Famine Codes basically gave food for work. They were a public relief operation which targeted famines, eradicated famines, so that there were no famines till 1943. No, when the Bengal famine happened during wartime and poor Churchill was blamed for it, even though it was due to hoarding by Indian merchants and speculators, not by the British. And it was in the middle of a world war. The British eradicated famines from the 1880s onwards, and the British famine codes know the British famine codes were taken on by the Indian government after independence and carried on till the 1960s because they were so effective. Okay, now, um, no, I'm not giving way. Well, I'm not giving way. Now, one incontrovertible fact was that the Indian population was 170 million when the British arrived in the 18th century. It was 450 million when the British left. This was in spite of these so-called famines. This was due to major public health improvements, major nutritional improvements under the Raj.